Hey guys, and welcome back to Crouton Cracker Jacks. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make diner style hash browns. Due to overwhelming response on my last video, almost everybody said they wanted to see how I make hash browns, so here I am to show you that. Uh, these really couldn't be simpler. All you need is a potato, some butter and oil, and a technique, which I will teach you in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So obviously for this recipe, you're going to need a potato. And I have a russet potato here. You could also use a red potato if you want. Uh, I just like the texture of russet potatoes. Don't use a waxy potato for this. It really doesn't work that well. So stick to russets or a red potato if that's what you like. Uh, and I'm just gonna peel this. Uh, as for size, you want between a four and five ounce potato. That makes a perfect uh, single serving hash brown, if you will, for one person. But yeah, just go ahead and peel your potato using a potato peeler, of course. And once you get your potato peeled, you're going to want to grate your potato. I have got a box grater here. Uh, you can find these at any big box discount store, whatever, for just a few dollars. Uh, but you wanna grate your potatoes into a bowl of water. This is going to prevent your potatoes from oxidizing. When the potatoes oxidize, they turn this funky color of like reddish brown. It's not very appetizing, it doesn't hurt anything. Uh, but it's just not very appetizing. So grate your potato into a bowl of water. And once you get your potato completely grated, uh, you're gonna see that this water is kind of like a foamy, milky, opaque color. Um, that is all the starch in the potato and you wanna rinse all of this starch off. So go ahead and put your shredded potato into a colander, run this under cool water until the water runs clear. You don't want any of that starch in your finished hash browns because that's what kind of gives people problems and the hash browns sticking to your pan. So go ahead and run this under cold water until the water runs clear. And then you wanna dry your shredded potato. So I've just got a flour sack towel out here on my counter and you wanna wring out your potatoes as much as possible using your hands. And then you wanna sprinkle them over a towel. You can use paper towels for this or you know any clean kitchen towel, of course, you want it to be clean. Um, but what you're gonna do is soak up as much moisture in these potatoes as physically possible. I'm just folding my towel up over here and I'm gonna press down on this and literally get as much water out of this as possible. You want this as dry as you can get it without it being dehydrated, of course. Now, once you think you've absorbed as much water as you can out of those potatoes, you wanna fluff them up. Um, fluffing them up, it's just gonna kinda let the air get in there and you're gonna let these air dry for about five to 10 minutes before you cook them. Again, to get them as dry as possible. So I'm gonna let these sit for about five, 10 minutes, and then we're gonna to get to cooking them. Now I've got a uh, eight inch skillet here, fry pan, whatever you wanna call it, over, it's between medium and medium high heat. I'm gonna put a generous amount of vegetable oil in my pan, as well as a pat of butter. Now do not be afraid of the oil and butter. You're gonna need a lot of it. There's probably, a good two, two and a half tablespoons of oil in this pan. That is what is going to create a nice golden brown hash brown. And it's also gonna prevent sticking because you do not want your potatoes to stick to your pan. Now, once those butter solids turn nicely golden brown, you can start adding your hash browns into your pan. You just wanna sprinkle a nice even layer here. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's between four and five ounces of potato here. You wanna gently press this down into the pan and you wanna take a lid and you want to cover this. Uh, by covering this, it's gonna allow those potatoes to steam and actually cook all the way through, and the bottom's gonna get nicely golden brown. And you wanna cook this for five minutes exactly covered. Do not lift the lid during this five minutes. You just wanna let it do its thing. Again, the heat's on between medium and medium high. And after five minutes, you can go ahead and remove the lid. You can see around the edges of the hash brown how it's nicely golden brown. That's when you know that it's ready to flip. I'm gonna go ahead and season these liberally with just some seasoned pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these and you wanna cook these for an additional two to three minutes on the second side. Now you can see how nicely golden brown this is, how, what an even color that is. That's because of the large amount of oil and butter. If you skimp on that oil and butter, it's not gonna be golden brown like this. And if you've ever had hash browns in a restaurant, this is how they do it. You definitely do not wanna be in the kitchen to see how much fat they use in diner style cooking, but that's the secret to these hash browns. Now go ahead and plate them up and serve them with whatever you like to serve your hash browns with. I'm just doing some scrambled eggs and fried bacon with this. And I know I'm gonna get questions on, you know, can I use the frozen hash browns that you buy in a bag in a grocery store? Yes, you can. However, 
you want to make sure that they are thawed before you use them. But there you go, that's how you make diner style hash browns at home. Couldn't be simpler, just a potato, butter, and oil. So there you go, that's the secret to it. Hope you guys enjoy, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe for more deliciousness and to keep up to date on all my latest videos. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time.